Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video. This is another, um, what did I say another? This is a, a reaction to the creepiest urban legends from America. I searched this up and I actually saw 25 urban legends in every US state, part one and part two. I might do that after this one because I think that could be an interesting one as well. But I just want to see how this goes down first because I don't know if there's going to be many people who want to see this or not. But urban legends are one of those things that... <laughs> it's weird how they even they even they get created, right? Like you've got, Obviously, you've got the Loch Ness monster which is probably the most famous one in the uk it, i don't actually really know many over um maybe when i search it i'll i'll like actually remember them but i can't really think of any when i like when, when i'm sort of coming to it now obviously you've got the Loch Ness monster um i don't know to be honest i have no idea Never heard of that one. So would things like Robin Hood be an urban legend? <laughs> I don't even know. Is that I always thought urban legends had to be sort of classed as like scary, but maybe not. And they said this is creepier, so obviously this one shows. But I'm guessing some urban legends aren't actually supposed to be creepy. I don't really know. But let's get into this one. Hopefully you you are going to enjoy. Quick shout out to my Instagram and my Twitter. We're getting close to 4K on my Instagram, so I'd appreciate you following that, getting me closer to there. And my Patreon, I'm loving the Patreon so much, like, this video would have been posted earlier on there, and it's just, it's getting videos posted earlier there, and it has a lot of Patreon exclusive videos, a lot of them are ones that get blocked when I try posting them to YouTube, which is a shame, but that's just there for those who are interested in seeing that, but let's get into this one, let's see some urban legends from the US, and again, let me know if you want to see the 25 or the creepiest urban legends or the most famous urban legends from each US state for reaction in the future because I'd definitely be down to do that but let's get into this and let's see what this video talks about I guess which is quite loud Ten creepiest urban myths from America Number ten The Water Babies of Massacre Rocks Water babies are a Native American legend of small childlike creatures that live in the waters of reservations around the western United States. States including those of California, Nevada and Utah. <laughs> they may sound cute in name, but they're anything but, well, if they were real, I guess. One of the most prevalent what? cases of water babies hails from Idaho at the terrifyingly named Massacre Rock State Park. Now, legend has it that a terrible famine overcame the land of the Shoshone Indians who lived at the reserve several centuries ago. Rather than watching their babies starve, the mothers are said to have drowned them in the river. As the story goes, however- Bruh, well, I'll tell you what, this reminds me of a film that I saw recently, the one with Leonardo DiCaprio, Shutter Island, where like the mother drowns the kids. But the thing is, this is probably an urban legend, but these kinds of things have obviously definitely happened. Obviously, they have definitely happened in the past, whether it be hundreds of years ago or the last few years. I mean, there's stories of some fucked up shit, but this one is just a creepy one, I'm not going to lie. I mean, again, again, urban legends aren't things that aren't actually there, but it's just, again, I find it so weird how these even come to sort of like fruition, like, how urban legends just become things that people kind of like believe or talk about in a sense. However, the babies so didn't weird. actually drown. Rather, they grew fins and gills, which allowed them to survive in the water and of <laughs> small fish. People have reported seeing these sprites what? playing in the rivers in the Massacre Rocks area. In fact, some even say that if you sit quietly at the river, you'll hear the sound of babies crying and laughing as they attempt to lure humans to the waters. That's because That's so the babies weird. never forgot the sins of their mothers, and as revenge, they'll claim the life of anyone foolish enough to approach the water's edge. Number nine, Knock Knock Road. No, it's not some kind of poor joke. It's actually a pretty creepy legend. Well, two pretty creepy legends. Hey? The first okay. legend of Knock Knock Road oh. in Detroit. This reminds me of that Shrek. Strasburg Road, as it's officially known, dates back to the 1940s. That's when a story surfaced that a little girl was walking... Oh! I thought this sign was it. I thought this was like... Just like a tall thing. This is just a sign. That's when a story surfaced that a little girl was walking along the road and was killed in a hit and run. Mad. Now her ghost is said to haunt drivers who venture there, knocking on their car windows as she tries to find the person who killed her. In Mad. another version of the tale, a car full of teenagers was said to have been out joyriding before they crashed into a telephone pole on Knock Knock Road. The car then caught fire and the teens' poundings, or knocks on the car windows, went unheard before they all burned to death. Thus the name, 
Knock Knock Road. In either case, is it a coincidence that there are many creepy looking and abandoned houses along Knock Knock Road? We're not sure, but we certainly won't be hanging around there to find out. Number eight, The Grunch. The By the way, no, I didn't misspeak and mean the green mean-hearted character who stole Christmas. We mean The Grunch. Grunt Road is an old dirt road in New Orleans, Louisiana that leads deep into the woods and eventually leads to a dead end. Yes, pretty creepy on its own, but also down there, the Grunch are said to live, a group of deformed half-human, half-monster creatures. Legend has it that a group of albinos and dwarves were forced to settle here as they were thought to be creations of the devil and thus couldn't wow. live with the rest of society. I mean, that gives you an idea of how society See, was back. The monsters that are now said to roam the woods Man. are the product of years of inbreeding. Society has supposedly Ooh. forgotten about this group until farmers started to report finding their goats dead or drained of blood. Before long, adult humans were also going missing and reports of creatures roaming the woods started to increase. So the story goes. Nowadays, the advice is that if you see a goat who looks injured on Grunt Road, don't get out of your car. It's a trick the monsters use to lure people out so they can drain their blood. Number seven, the bunny man. Colchester Road in Fairfax County, Virginia is home to a popular destination among tourists. It's known officially as Colchester Overpass and appears very ordinary, but unofficially it's known as Bunny Man Bridge. Now this legend starts with the closure of a nearby mental asylum, as they so often do. A, a busload yeah, of inmates are being to. transferred to another institution when two of the most dangerous inmates escape to the woods. Typical. Leaving half-eaten carcasses of rabbits as their trail, the bunny men, as they became known, evaded detection for weeks. Eventually, one of them was found dead, hanging from the bridge, and the other, well, the other, was never found. Some say he was killed by a train, and that his ghost continues to haunt the bridge, attacking passers-by with his axe. While this version of the bunny man certainly isn't true, it is true that there is some kind of bunny man, or was anyway. In 1970, the Washington wow. Post reported that a man dressed in a white suit with long bunny ears appeared in front of a couple's car in Fairfax and threw a hatchet at them. Luckily, the couple wasn't hurt, but this incident helped perpetuate the bunny man legend that haunts Fairfax County to nice. this very day. Number six, Shaman's Portal. Located in Beaver Dunes Park, just northwest of Oklahoma City, lies Shaman's Portal. But you may know it by its alternative and rather eerie name of Oklahoma's Bermuda Triangle. It's a okay. rather apt name, to be honest, since according to this legend, people have been disappearing from here for centuries. These mysterious occurrences have been attributed to the fact that Beaver Dunes Park was built on an ancient Native American burial ground. Yep, that old chestnut. Stories about disappearances go as far back as the 1500s, when Spanish conquistadors were traveling through the area looking for gold. They then disappeared without a trace in paranormal flashes of green light, and, well, disappearances continued thereafter. <laughs> now, one of the most prominent theories which seeks to explain the disappearances is that the dunes are in fact an old UFO crash site. A group in the 90s are said to have investigated this claim and found that the soil was abnormal. They said that samples contain anomalies such as constant electromagnetic interference and ionized soil cores. In fact, some people even believe that the UFO is buried deep underground and is still running, giving off electromagnetic interference, <laughs> making people disappear without a trace. Somehow. <laughs> Number five, the bus to nowhere. Ever feel like you just need to get away? Well, the people who ride the bus to nowhere do, albeit even if they don't know where it is they're going. That's because Philadelphia's legendary phantom bus never shows a route or a destination, it just drives. The bus has been spotted all around the city and some claim to have seen it in other cities too, appearing Wait, as an otherwise perfectly ordinary bus. But <laughs> don't be in a hurry to start looking for fare prices. The bus's passengers are exclusively those who found themselves at a low point in their life and who want to get away from whatever hard time it is they're going through. When on the bus, the hopeless passengers ride around for hours, days, weeks, even years. Once the passenger is ready to face the world again, they may get off. Mm -hmm. Many passengers who survive the ride report not remembering the driver, even if there was one, any of the passengers or any of the stops, only getting off the bus. Those what? riders who aren't so lucky, well, they simply continue to ride around in a state of despair. Wait, Rumor what? Rumor has it that one day the bus will disappear forever, taking all riders on board with it to its, and their, final destination. That is so Number weird. four, the candy lady. <laughs> Don't take candy from strangers, weird, really is sound advice. Yet it's also advice which unfortunately was ignored by children in a rural town just outside Dallas in Texas in the 1900s. This was the time during which children in the town started going missing. The primary suspect, the candy lady. This legend goes that children would wake in the morning to find candy sitting on their windowsills. The candy would have notes on the wrappers which would ask the children to come out and play. Notes which were signed, The Candy Lady. 
and over the span of about a decade, a handful of kids went missing in the small town. In fact, again, according to legend, a farmer was said to have found rotten teeth on his farm before later finding a body of a small boy. I hear a weird noise. Is it the candy lady? <laughs> <laughs> creepy, that's creeping me out. What is it? Is it a dog again or what? Rotten teeth on his farm before later finding a body of a small boy with his pockets stuffed with candy. Oh, As no. children in the town started to get a little older, they started to come forward and tell of the candy lady's antics. Once this new information surfaced, it's said that a police officer started investigating the disappearance of the children, and a few weeks later, his body was found in a ditch with his pockets filled with candy. Now, is there any evidence of this actually happening? No, but it's a hell of a story and a hell of an urban legend. Mm -hmm. Number three, the goat man of Pope Lick. Oh, goat the goat men man. Goat make frequent yep. appearances in oh, no, urban legends, one. even those dating as far back as ancient Greece. But out of all of these stories of goat-like humanoids, perhaps the most famous in America is the weirdly named Pope Lick monster. The monster is named after the railroad over Pope Lick Creek in Kentucky, where it's most often sighted. No one really knows the origins of the goat man. One theory speculates that the derailment of a circus train which was carrying the goat man as its star attraction led to the creature's escape. Meanwhile, another assumes that the goat man is the product of a satanic magic ritual performed by a local mm. farmer upon his livestock. Either way, the monster is said to use hypnosis or mimic the voice of friends to lure its victims onto the railroad bridge and in front of oncoming trains. Whether or not this really happens, well, we're not sure. But the legend of the Goatman has in fact truly been responsible for a number of deaths on the railroad running over Pope Lick Creek. While what? actively what? looking for the urban legend, a woman was killed by an oncoming train as recently as 2016. Fuck yeah. Number two, what the, fuck? the curse of the Escalante Petrified Forest. <laughs> people, man. Anyone who takes anything from a national monument is breaking the law. Naughty, naughty people. But those who remove some of the petrified wood from Utah's Escalante Petrified Forest State Park, well, they risk something equally as petrifying as the name suggests, a so-called ancient curse. Within the petrified forest are fossilized remains of giant trees that fell millions of years ago and became, well, petrified. It's a process that usually results in a quartz mineralization of the wood. Put simply, that makes the wood of some value. Since 1935, visitors to the petrified forest began to report that after taking some of the petrified wood from the park, they seemed to experience a lot of bad luck. In fact, the park's manager confessed in 2014 that every year he gets about a dozen packages returning the stolen piece of wood and an apologetic letter outlining the sender's bad luck and pleading for forgiveness. Instances of misfortune have ranged from being divorced to being jailed and from medical conditions to being made redundant. All for a bit of wood. Is it really <laughs> worth it? Number one, the oh, Hollywood so sign spirit. For anyone adventuring to Los Angeles, a selfie at the cultural icon that overlooks La La Land is an absolute must. Yet few actually know about the deadly past that surrounds the Hollywood sign. Wait, it all what? started with the death of 20th century actress Peg Entwistle. In an extremely unfortunate turn of events, the story goes that when a poor review was published about one of her films, the actress climbed to the top of the sign to H and threw herself off it. Now known as the Lady in White, her ghost is said to have a skeletal face, deep hollowed out eyes and wear a white dress haunting the sign and the area where she died. Several people have reported seeing a woman standing on top of the letter H on the Hollywood sign. In fact, she seemed so real that some have even called the police out of fear that she could jump. Others claim that they did actually witness her jump, but she disappeared before she hit the ground. Fans of the paranormal now have a theory that the actress is now stuck forever in her final moments where she continues to repeat the walk to her fate. Is it real? Probably not, but it's a creepy reminder of the toll Hollywood can take on a person. <laughs> so that was 10 I mean, creepy yeah. urban myths. Good, good point that. I mean, Hollywood, Hollywood is one of those places that if you succeed there, it's great. But if you don't and your dreams fall apart, yeah, I can see why. I swear there's like, a, isn't there like a thing where like on the Hollywood side, a lot of people, have like, there's a lot of suicides there. I don't know if there is or not, but I've, I've just heard of that. Suicides on Hollywood. Again, I'm probably just talking shit, but... Oh, it's just her, then. Maybe it's just... I'm just talking shit. But yeah, this is interesting for sure. Again, I, want, I might check out the 25 urban legends in each US state. I think that could be quite a fun one to see. You've got the hash sling, slinging slasher. Hippity hoppity, get off my freaking property, bunny man. <laughs> not from my state, but I'm surprised that the Mothman was not mentioned. See, that sounds quite familiar. Knock, knock. Who's the sounds of death? I would have thought that the skin walker ranch would be number one. I'm surprised the Jed's Devil was not on the list. Still a very interesting list. And um, yeah, Hollywood isn't in Texas or to Kentucky. It isn't in the England. Previous places in America done by British crime. 
I really enjoyed the creepiest places in the US actually. I might have to do more because some of them were ridiculously interesting. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one again. Let me know about if you want to see more stuff like this in the future. But yeah, until next time, like, subscribe. Peace.